Instagram Reels with Adobe Spark. Stick around. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Claudio. So glad that you're here. And today I'm going to be walking you through how to create Instagram Reels using Adobe Spark. Now, before I continue, I'm going to be using my iPhone to do this. And those of you who are Android, which I also have an Android device, what I'm about to share, you can't do this with Adobe Spark on an Android device just yet. I'm gonna recommend another one of my YouTube videos for you where you can create reels using your Android device with Adobe Rush. Check out the link up here at the top. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. I went ahead and launched Adobe Spark here, and I'm going to start a project by tapping on that green plus sign. Now a little background before I start here, what I want to do is create a layout where my video clip is in the center and I've got some cells kind of around it. And that's because I'm going to add an overlay and I want my video clip to kind of be in the center, not to fill the whole scene here. So here, what I'll do is choose a solid color background. Does it matter which one? Tap on next and then go to Instagram story size because that's the size of my reel. Then choose done. Now this text that you see here, I'm just going to move that out of the way. I'll end up using it a little bit later and then tap on done. And now go to layout. And here, what I want to do is choose a layout where I have a center cell that is large enough to house my video clip. So let's scroll to the right here until I come to the five cell layout. There's about three of them here. Doesn't matter which one, either one will work. I'm going to go with that one and then tap on done. Now the colors again do not matter because they're going to be covered with a graphic. So let's go ahead and resize by touching those handles there, moving it around. Again, I could always readjust those a little bit later. And then here where it says replace, I'm going to tap on that and then go to my video library on my phone and choose a video. And it will be this one right here. Let it process, then choose done. Now I've got my video clip here. And what I can do is make some adjustments to that video clip. I'm going to scale it up so that I can bring this down and make some adjustments to the handles there once again. There we go. Get it close to where I want it to be, kind of centered there, and then tap on done. You can choose to rotate your video clip here. Again, it's rotating just inside that cell. Let's bring it back to the center there and choose done. Now what I'm going to do is add a graphic or an illustration as an overlay for my reel. So let's tap on done here and go to the add button and choose design assets. There are thousands of design assets which can be frames, PNGs, shapes, illustrations, graphics. So now let's go ahead and type in frames here because that's what I want to use is frames and then search all the different frames that are here. And these are all available for me to use. And I have some black frames, white ones here, some circle frames, some colorful frames, flowery frames, whatever type of frame you want, you can choose in here. So I'm narrowed down to two frames that I'm going to be using for this setup here. So what I'm going to do first is choose this white frame right here. And then I'm going to choose this colored frame right over here. So I'm gonna add two at the same time tap on that button. It's going to add them here on my layout. Now what I'll do is choose this one here first and I'm going to resize that to fit over my video clip. So there it is. And what I can do here, let's go ahead and make a quick adjustment. Raise that up about there. So it's close to where I want it to be. Now, as you can see, my video clip kind of is a little larger, or I should say does not fit that frame. So what I'll do here is just kind of slide this over a little bit and just retouch this a tad bit here so that it is somewhat centered. So do that right there, bring that up. And then let's resize my video clip. And now I'll just move this over. And again, this takes a little bit of time to figure out or to uh, manipulate. Let's do that. That should be close right about there. And if I want to just 
adjust this a tad bit smaller. There we go. So now I've got the frame there. And then I've got this one here, which I'll use around it, which is close enough. And it may not be just exactly where I want to be, just to give you the idea. In fact, what I think I'll do is use it like that. And let's go ahead and resize this one once again. There we go. That's close. So I've got my video clip there ready to go. Now, one more thing before I export this, I've got to make some more adjustments to my video clip. So what we'll do here is just without resizing, we're going to move that out of the way. You see my text right there. We're going to bring that to the top. We're going to order that to the very top so we can see that text. Move it out of the way over here. And I think I've got my video clip that's a little longer than 15 seconds. So what I'm going to do is move this out of the way and come back to my video clip and adjust the length. As you can see right there, the video clip is longer than 15 seconds. I can adjust which 15 seconds I want to use. I think I'm going to use the beginning 15 seconds and then choose done. And now I can bring these items back to the front here, or I should say where I want them to be laid out. And then I can grab this text here and make some adjustments to the text. So we got sneak peek video and change the font here. Let's go with that one. And as you can see, Adobe Spark is using some recommended or suggested colors. I think what I'm going to do is go to color here and let's scroll over so you can see we got some suggested colors, but I don't like any of those. So I'm going to get the eyedropper and come up here and choose that. Looks a little, a little uh, more to my liking there. And now I've got a quick Instagram reel created right here in Adobe Spark. All I need to do now is hit that create button, that share button, and it's going to process the video. And then I can post it to my Instagram reel and all set to go. And that's how to create Instagram reel videos using Adobe Spark Post. Let me know what you thought about this video. If you do create your own reels using Adobe Spark Post, please do share them in the link below. Don't forget to tag me as well. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please do drop it also in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, click the bell to be notified for future videos, and please do share this video with others. Thank you once again for stopping by and watching this video. And as always, be good to one another. Peace.